Salome sana. Nakuwa na uchungu. Ukikumbuka mtu tulikuwa pamoja anakuambia kwamba mimi sitakuona tena. Are Kenyans ready to embrace Raila Odinga's presidency once again? Now the question lingers in the air especially after his surprising support for the controversial Adani deal with President Ruto's government. Unfortunately, these misgivings have also resulted in a lot of misinformation regarding the investors who have made the PPP's proposals. I have had a chance to interact with the PPP proposals in question. It is my duty to state what I know about them. Once hailed as the unwavering symbol of democracy, Odinga now finds himself losing the faith of many. The 60% of Kenyans who once stood firmly behind him are now dwindling with growing murmurs that Raila Odinga has lost his way. His alliance with Ruto, a president many now view as the worst in Kenya's history, has left Kenyans disillusioned. They are asking, what is the point of supporting Raila Odinga if he is already in bed with President Ruto? But the real question is, why did Raila Odinga defend the Adani deal knowing full well that Kenyans were fiercely opposed to the idea of the controversial group taking over the management of JKIA. The answer may lie with Makueni Senator Dan Maanzo, who has shed some light on the mystery. According to the senator, the Adani group played a role in financing Raila's 2012 presidential campaign. Having failed to win the presidency, it seems Odinga is now using his influence to settle old debts, pushing Kenyans to accept Adani's management of the airport so the group can recoup their investment handsomely through revenue generated from JKIA operations. What are you talking about? I am talking about Raila Odinga and William Samuel Ruto. They have been bribed? They have been bribed by the Adani company. How much? Where was that arrived at? Well, I don't want to give so much details. Uh, Right now, I will do it at the right forum in the house. We will also the evidence do it that actually they received money. There are bribes, and there are brokers involved. So this, that's why these companies have been given direct procurements. It's not that there are no other better companies in the world who can do a better deal. So if the Ketrako deal is worth 95.6 billion shillings, how much is going to Ray Odinga? How much is going to William Ruto? <laughs> <laughs> no, how much they received out of the deal. Sorry? You know how much they received, that's why, they, that's why Opio Wandai is the Minister for Energy. That's why the CS for Energy. It is very well choreographed. He, he just came in, the process yeah, yeah, yeah. started. You, you know, yeah. Andani mm. is one of the big in Indian companies. And uh, Raila Odinga has admitted that he knew these companies up to 2010 when he was Prime Minister. And he was, it was one of the companies sponsoring his campaign, so that he becomes President in 2012. Is that so? These are some of the companies. So it's a bigger, it's a bigger plot. That's a very serious allegation. Yes, they are. And that's, that's why there's no procurement. If everything was to be serious, everything should have been on the table. Different companies should have been allowed to so, compete sorry, much more. for the same jobs. How come there are direct procurements? Adani Group was sponsoring Azimio campaigns. Those, no, it wasn't Azimio those days. They sponsored the presidential campaign of Raila Odinga. Which election? 2012. 2013. There was a code there. There was a code movement. Kalonzo Mosioko was the running mate. Yeah, Kalonzo was, was part mate. of the code. He was part of it. To the so these are old. Those these are, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have the exact amounts, but you know, campaigns are funded by different people. You're certain about for, what you're saying. Person, you know, the campaign, the presidential campaign, is owned by a lot of foreigners a lot of times. It's, a, it's owned by businessmen a lot of times. Others believe. President William Ruto may have leaned on Raila to quiet the opposition to the deal, just as he did when Odinga helped quash the protest that once threatened to destabilize the Kenya Kwanzaa government. In exchange for this quiet diplomacy, 
Odinga might be playing along, soothing the public's anger to give Adani a smooth entry into Kenya without the resistance of outraged citizens. ...by the government of India. I'm talking about Adani group of companies. I also visited the city of Mumbai to see the electricity projects set up by the company where it serves over 13 million consumer meters in metropolitan Mumbai and the industrial hub of Mundra Special Economic Zone. Adani Energy Solution Limited has a cumulative transmission network of 21,783 circuit kilometers of power transmission lines and 61,687 megavolts ampere transmission capacity. The company owns more than energy infrastructure than Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania combined. In the same city of Mumbai, I visited the international airport that had been upheld, up, 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 up or sorry, overhauled and upgraded by the company and turned from a collapsing degenerate airport to a first class facility. Those who have been to Bombay Airport will confirm what I'm saying here. Regardless of the reasons, Kenyans are left to wonder, has Raila Odinga's loyalty shifted? And can they still trust him as their champion of democracy? Do you still trust Raila Odinga? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's be next time. Bye-bye.